Face reality, people. Movies are dead. Games are dead. Narrative, dead. Media is nothing but neural trigger response and viral conditioning. Wait, what are you two talking about? All right, just watched a movie called Don't Breathe. It's one of those movies that... Uh, I guess that's part of the good filmmaking of it. I'm not saying it's a good film. I'm saying, like, partially what they want is to piss the audience off with characters making stupid decisions. <laughs> and also, I guess, a bad guy we hate. Like, they went for the sympathetic shit in the beginning. Like, oh, he's a... The old veteran, he lost his fucking eyes during the war or some shit. He, and he comes home and, oh, fuck, his daughter dies in a fucking car accident. And then this dude, they start revealing more and more that this dude's a fucking cunt, bro. He's a little creepy little cunt, bro. Like, <laughs> like he's the character that I want to jump into the screen and beat the living shit out of. Like, people robbing him? Good. Rob his ass, bro. Take his money, take his house, beat the shit out of him and leave him there. Save the dog, dude. Re retrain the dog. But kill this cunt, bro. Actually, don't even kill him. Just fuck him up. He's a trash can. Get this fucking trash character out of here. But I think that's... Yeah, I think it's part of the effect of the character is to make us maybe not like him. I think, actually, maybe the movie's leaning more toward being creeped out by him. But you're ultimately sympathetic. I felt no sympathy, bro. Fuck that dude. He should have got robbed. He should have got his fucking... You know, legs beaten in, his arms broken, and everything. Fuck that dude, bro. Fucking weirdo. He's like injecting. <laughs> All right. So his daughter died, right, in a car accident. And then he kidnapped the girl that did the car accident. <laughs> and then he's like, You took my daughter. You owe me a daughter. So he keeps syringes and, I guess, vials. Of his own semen that he injected into her and got her pregnant. Don't worry. Oh, this guy's blind, by the way. He's blind from, I guess, in the Iraq war, some sort of grenade went off in his face. And, you know, the grenade fucked up. It should have just killed him. But, you know, it left him alive, left him blind. So we have to have this fucking movie. But, yeah, he's blind. So he, like, <laughs> when these robbers go into his house... And he's trying to shoot them and shit. Like, he's blind. He's just shooting shit, bro. Like, what is he doing? He's like, listening for footsteps and shit. Like, yo. Fool's reckless. But yeah, the, the girl he kidnapped, he impregnated her with, like, with a vial of his semen. Like, I don't care. I'm calling that rape, bro. He's a rapist, too, bro. The fucking little cunt. But yeah, he accidentally kills her. <laughs> tried to kill these these other people like bro you don't realize you're blind and you're shooting at people <laughs> like, you're just shooting in directions you hey, you might kill the the one holding the baby that that you're owed apparently like holy fuck he said oh once once she gives birth i'll let her go like i don't buy that shit bro that means you're caught and you're just gonna lose the baby anyways like so I fucking can't stand characters like that. Who is it? The guy Jigsaw? The guy from Saw? It's like, bro, fuck you, man. Oh, I had a bad day. I need to take it out on everyone else. Like, fuck you, dude. Eat a bag of dicks. You're a cunt. You deserve whatever shitty thing that happened to you. Apparently, you do, you fucking deserve that. Because <laughs> this is what would this is what you turn into if you have a bad day or the, or things don't go right for you. You destroy the world around you. It's like you're a fucking one of these dweeby politicians. <laughs> like they get picked on in high school. Like, uh, one day I'll become president and rule the world. And I'll cause all kinds of destruction. I'll be so powerful. Uh. These little dweeby dudes like that. That's what this guy reminds me of. Like, oh, you little cunt. You have a bad... Like, these people in worse situations, you fuckface. <laughs> there are. You're fucking... Oh, that means I get to fucking kidnap people and fucking torture them and rape them and kill them like no you're a fucking loser bro you deserve all the shitty things that happen to you, you piece of shit but anyways another thing that once again this definitely was on purpose where it's the characters trying to escape this blind dude and it's like in your mind 
without even seeing the movie in your mind, you should be like, a blind dude. I don't care if it's fucking John Jones on all the roids in the world. If he's blind, you could fuck him up. But somehow, these idiots find a way <laughs> to get killed by this dude, to get injured by this dude, and, you know, and all of that. Just like a typical horror movie, or a typical, you know, killer chasing down the teens type of shit. This time it was bank, this time it was robbers. Uh, but yeah, the typical annoying things these people do <laughs> that just, you just want to throw shit at the screen. Like, you idiot, go left. Yo, stop making so much noise. Yo, what are you doing? Pick up the keys. Yo, what are you doing? The gun's right there. Grab that shit. Now imagine all that, but they're blind too. <laughs> but the, the killer's blind and like actually blind. Like he like, like he sucks. Like he, <laughs> he'll fuck shit up. He'll run into walls. He'll shoot at nothing. He'll shoot and miss. Like he's actually like he's there's no supernatural to it. He's just he's just ass cheeks, and these fools find a way to make him legitimate, like a legitimate threat. I'm like yeah, but I mean, all in all, it's, I would say I think people would have fun with this movie. It's from it's from 2016. I think people would have fun with it. So you know what? I'm gonna recommend it. I'm gonna recommend it. I think people would have fun on like a you know horror binge i think they'd have fun uh score um i'm thinking let me give it a solid 6.6 out of 10. 6.6 it's watchable it's annoying as think of what the characters do and, you know, characters being stupid for the sake of the plot. A lot of that shit happens. But, you know, we're watching a horror movie where there's a killer chasing down other people. And so we need the other people to make stupid mistakes so that the killer can catch up, especially if they're blind. Right. So. There it is. 6.6. The movie called Don't Breathe. Check it out.